Hey, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to Grim Gaming. This is Grimwolf, or Grim, as some people call me. Um, also known as Church Seeker on GeoGuessr. Uh, and today we are actually going to be doing some GeoGuessr. Um, more specifically, what we are going to be doing is the No Moving Slash NMPZ Tournament. We are in the 1 8th Finals. Um, we have managed to um, open up the standings. Uh, we've actually managed to place third in, going into the 1 8th Finals. So the top 16 people advanced. Uh, so everybody in green going down all the way to L49. Uh, we've all advanced. Um, and uh, yeah, so I believe, uh, I, I don't know exactly how it works. Um, well, I, I'm assuming it works like this here. So it looks like probably the top, uh, the top, um, Eight people advance here. So uh, this is showing that there are five rounds for the one eighth final. Um, so we actually have five different seeds we have to play. I'm going to try and get all these in one video. Uh, I make no promises. I am at work. Um, so if I do get uh, interrupted, uh, there is that. But anyway, so the top eight uh, advance. Followed by uh, next week, uh, the one quarterfinals will start, and then the top four will advance, and it goes on until there ends up being a final uh, with uh, whoever wins. Um, so I'm not. Uh, I don't want to sound super cocky, but uh, I have played a lot of Diverse World, which is what uh, uh, what we are using. I don't remember what they're using for... Uh, so the quarterfinal will probably be my worst one, because uh, I've played a good bit of it, but it's always really baity. Um, so these are the maps used. Um, uh, so far, my worst ones were the Oceana, which I had never even attempted uh, and completely forgot about the thing. And then also South America, because South America sucks when it comes to trying to get points. Um, but other than that, so I've done fairly well on everything else. Um, like I said, Diverse World is, uh, again... Um, the most popular map. So I've done a very large amount of diverse world. I've done a good amount of balanced world. Um, I love rural world. Uh, I am putting together uh, my own version of that. It's uh, a, a VRW for a very rural world. Um, eventually it will be released. Uh, not yet though. Um, and then uh, improved world is the newer one that I've been playing mostly on stream. So I, these, uh, I think I have a pretty good shot with these here because I, like I said, I have done a lot of it, but the balanced world will be my worst one if I make it that far. I, um, I don't know, but I like I honestly think I do have a good, pretty good shot at. Uh, um, I do think I have a pretty good shot at coming through the eighth finals because, I mean, I, to be honest, I just don't know any of these other people. And I play a lot of uh, GeoGuessr, so anyway. Um, but again, I, I don't want to sound cocky there, so. Uh, like I said, this is the first tournament I've played, but uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're almost five minutes into a video and haven't even started, and there are five seeds. Uh, it's five seeds, um, and I believe it's, yeah, it's a one minute timer. It is a four difficulty, which means I cannot pan or zoom. I don't. Um, I don't really know. Uh, I got to make sure that I 
I gotta make sure I'm on 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 my game and I don't make any mistakes because I sometimes accidentally pan or zoom. And the map some or the, the mouse sometimes does weird shit too. But we're gonna definitely try this. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. This is uh this is seed one, round one, diverse world. Um, this is looking like it's uh, Mexico. This is a very Mexican pole here. Um, yes, I mean, I don't know. Um, probably. Let's see here. Um, I don't know, may, may not be dry enough for Chihuahua. It looks pretty dry, but it may be more like this area just north of Mexico City, um, like San Luis or something like that. Um, it could even be over here. I got mountains there. So, Let's go somewhere like that. Um, not not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Um, so this looks like it could be Jordan, um, although that is not. What is this? Right, so I, there's a yellow line. So I thought Jordan, um, but this is not Jordan. This is. Probably Turkey is what I'm assuming with that. Uh, should be Southern Turkey, maybe Adana. Um, let's go with here. Should be a pretty good guess. It's very arid and dry. Um, I would expect it to be a little bit less so up here. And I was wrong. It was Turkey, though. All right, so this is uh, likely the United States. Um, I don't see a front plate here, but I don't know. This, um, Nothing here makes sense for no front plate. I don't think it's Charlotte though, because it doesn't look right. Um, I haven't been to Raleigh in a while. So I'm thinking, well, maybe it's, I don't think it's Atlanta though either. Let's go to Nashville. It should be, or it's San Francisco. Um, was there something I missed there? I probably missed something. The East Cut. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, well, to be fair, there's a bike lane. Shouldn't have been a southeastern state because we don't like bikes. Um, yeah, I don't know what I could have seen unless I just knew the buildings, to be honest with you. Um, buildings or businesses. Um, regardless, pretty poor round. Um, all right, so this looks like it could be Colombia. Um, the reason I say that is uh, it looks uh, it looks South American. Um, it could be could be Southeast Asia, but it looks like it's driving uh, right. Um, and I don't believe the Philippines would have yellow plates. The yellow plates would lead me to think Colombia or Ecuador. I mean, uh, or Peru, but. As far as I'm aware, Peru doesn't have this uh, um, this antenna. 
So this should be kind of like the greener like area, like the mountainous area down here. Maybe Picasso. Um, let's okay. I forgot Tomer. Uh, yeah. So yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, if it was, uh, I think he went Thailand. Yeah. So I think the yellow plate could have made sense in Thailand if it was driving left, but uh, it definitely looked drive right to me. Um, um, it's weird. Um, with this here, I'm inclined to think it's Thailand. Um, I, I know it doesn't have the full thing. Um, it does look Southeast Asian. Um, it looks like, I don't know what's wrong with this here. But I'm probably completely off here, but uh, although this is some type of Japanese or Chinese right here. Um, it looks like so. Thai works pretty well, or, or Thailand, not Thai. Um, and like I said, with this, I would definitely think Thailand or Taiwan, because the only other option, like I don't know, because it's not, you know, Korea, because it would have the same issues where it just doesn't feel right with the thing, and it'd only be half the size. So I mean, Taiwan is yeah, so Taiwan. Um, and kind of mid area is good, good guess. Um, yeah, so got 18k. Um, it's a few people that have already done this. Um, actually, not terrible. Like 18k for an MPZ is actually really good. Um, this one here, uh, I didn't see a front plate on a one car that had the front visible. Um, so, yeah, see those front plates there. I just, like I said, it's kind of baity to me. If, I don't know if, uh, what was visible here? Maybe something like that. If you could read that where it says North Bay, um, but I can't read it from here. So, if somebody zoomed in, they could, like, like I could definitely probably have figured this out if it was a uh, um, yeah if we could um, if we could have uh, panned and zoomed I probably could have figured this out yeah focus SF yeah yeah I definitely would have figured this out uh, with uh, panning and zooming allowed but uh, still not bad 18k. Really not bad at all. Um, let me uh, write that down so I don't forget it. 1872. All right. Um, yeah. So let's uh, let's go ahead and try the next one. Um, we are already at 13 and a half minutes. Uh, I don't want this to get too long, but I definitely want to try and get all this done in one. Um, in one shot, but let's go ahead and uh, get started here. Um, so, huh. not a lot to go on. I believe this is a European sign, though. This, I'd like to know, like to be able to see this a little bit better. This could be Balkans, uh, this particular mountain range, because this looks like a the back of a European sign, perhaps. I don't know. Um, it could be like Albania. I don't see any rifts. Could be riftless Albania. Um, it could be Croatia even. I'll go Croatia. Um, and it actually ends up being Montenegro, which is you know, not like kind of in between where I put. It. So it's actually not bad. Um, Germany. 
Yeah, 100% Germany. Um, possibly Northern Germany, but I'm not certain. Um, I think the better option would be down here um, to get closer to the population centers. Um, it could be somewhere up here, um, but this has the better odds of getting points. Um, and of course it is Berlin. Um, and I, I even moved it further away from there, damn it. Um, uh, so this looks like the US perhaps, um, probably Southwest. Um, I got hills to the east, no mountains. Um, this could be Arizona, New Mexico, could even be uh, Southern California or Nevada. I'm gonna go there, get a pretty good grasp on it, I think. Um, it could be Mexico, but the houses are pretty nice and I don't see any uh, Mexican poles. Um, Sun is south, that's right. Um, yeah, camper. Uh, so, I mean, it's a pretty, like, well-off area, even if it looks kind of dry. And, yeah, so it was Arizona. Um, probably could have done a little bit better than that, but, I mean, certainly not the worst. This looks Canada. Um, 50, let's see how, how big, how fast is 50? I could see 50 miles there, but that would be kind of, Kind of a little excessive, maybe maybe 45 miles per hour would be my guess. So I'm thinking this would be more of a, yeah, like a 35-ish, like, miles. Um, yeah, it's probably like New Brunswick, Nova Scotia or something like that. Um, yeah, uh, not... Okay, so it actually ends up being just below Quebec, but yeah, it definitely looked uh, it definitely looked like it was in miles per hour. Um, this could be Croatia or Romania. Don't think it's a Romanian pole. This is definitely Eastern Europe. I mean, it could even be Slovenia. Um, like, could be Slovenia, could be Romania, could be Serbia, I guess. I don't think it's anything other than these four. I don't think it's a Romanian pole, but I'm not, I know it's not Hungarian pole. Yeah, so it was Croatia, not actually even a bad guess. So I was just trying to hedge in there. Um, yeah, that's, that's actually really good. Um, That was uh, um, so I just switched over to my OBS and I had a black screen, but then the GeoGuessr did show up. I don't know if don't know if. It was actually recording the screen. I know it was when I first started. So if I missed 
a, a, a round or a seed. I am so sorry. Um, yeah, that, that was a, a, actually a much easier round. Uh, still, 20. For an NMPZ, that's freaking like. I mean, again, this is, you know, the diverse world, which is, you know, like I've played so much. Um, let's go ahead and start leg number three, or seed number three. Um, so it is, a uh, Cyrillic, um, it's not Mongolia, it could be Russia, but I think this is probably Kyrgyzstan, I don't see a car, um, that's probably hidden, but the actual overall, um, landscape looks kind of Kyrgyz, uh, I'm gonna go somewhat near... Um, so any mountains there? Not really. I'm gonna go down here. Let's see. Let's see here. Running out of time. Uh, let's just go right there. Oh. Okay, so I see there are some, like, I kind of missed these when I zoomed in. Um, I'm trying to go into the, uh, like, to where the mountains were to the north. Um, all right, so this should be Finland. Um, it looks Finnish. It's got the uh, very faint yellow, I believe. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's yellow solid, uh, white dashed. Um it's only found in a couple places. Um, Finland, uh, you can get uh, white and yellow lines in South Africa, Uruguay, Argentina, New Zealand. Um, South Africa would even have those actually. Well, it's, a ba it's basically Uruguay, Argentina, Finland, and New Zealand. This is obviously a Finnish version. Um, <coughs> yeah, so it's just, yeah, I mean, definitely Finland. And speaking of the devil, uh, yellow, uh, yellow solid white dashed. Um, this is the South American version. Um, probably. It's very flat, and very pastoral. Um, so it has a good chance, and it's kind of a shitty road. Um, so it has a good chance of being Uruguay. It could also be um, could also be Argentina. Usually, these lines in Argentina are going to be found somewhere up here or somewhere down here. Um, I'm thinking it's Uruguay, but if it is Argentina. This will be a pretty good hedge. A better hedge may actually be right here, um, but I, I'm pretty sure this is actually going to be Uruguay. Um, so I'm sticking with the country. Um, it does, like, I mean, that's, you can't get much better of a hedge than that, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, usually, uh, Further south and on this part of the country, you're not going to have uh, the white middle line. Um, it'll just be like, you know, like normal yellow lines. Uh, we won't have the, the yellow and white lines. So, all right. So this should be, um, this looks like Korean. Um, don't see anything to tell me otherwise. So go ahead and hedge middle. Uh, I probably should have, like, if I had guessed an actual city, Seoul would have been a good shot. Um, I didn't lose too many points there. Um, uh, Spanish um, Banco del Pacifico should be on this coast here. I think these are. Uh, um, 
Ecuadorian taxis. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure they are. Um, there's not yellow plates or anything like that. Um, yeah, I'm fairly happy with an Ecuador guess here. Um, not, uh, again, I'd, I'd much prefer to be able to, to pan or zoom, but I mean, this round here should be like actually pretty amazing because um, if it is Ecuador, it might even be uh, Quito. Uh, I mean, it's, Ecuador's tiny, so. Um, yeah, I mean, it was the Quito area, so. Yeah, I mean, this is actually even better than the last one. Um, Yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't think, I mean, if you, if you only rely on meta, this one could be, could have been difficult. Um, and this one here, I guess, could have been difficult as well, I guess. Um, but I mean, everything else, like, and it, like, this really shouldn't have been difficult, because like I said, if, there's no yellow plates, so. Um, and it's obviously Spanish. Uh, let me actually see where some of these people went. Um, yeah, Peru on this one. Again, no yellow plates. This area here, I think, is... Um, I mean, probably hedging this direction, I guess. Uh, but with the no yellow plates, um, and again, like I said, those are... Um, pretty certain they're Ecuadorian. Well, I, I know now they're, they're Ecuadorian taxis, and that's what I thought. This here, like I said, um, I'm not sure why anybody would guess the United States with white on the center lines, but um, but yeah, got those spot on. Um, that pretty spot on. Yeah. Um, now, I could have seen Mexico on this, uh, other than that poll was like, let me go back to it real quick. Um, like you could see this poll right here, um, and it didn't really look uh, like a Mexican poll. They definitely, uh, definitely didn't look that way. Um, but. Yeah, like I said, that was actually probably one of my better NMPZs. Uh, again, it is diverse world. Um, it's a diverse world that was specifically made to be looking at the road. So um, that's what. Uh, yeah. So um, like honestly, diverse world looking at the road probably gonna be the easiest map in the game. Um, can't tell if this is Gen 3 or not. It's kind of like blurry down here, maybe up here too. It looks like a cactus over here. Um, I can't tell if these poles are octagonal or not. Um, the cactus leads me to think that it could be like northern Mexico. Um, there is a hill to the north. It's not huge. Um, and I'm not really certain. I'm going to go back down this direction. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, well, it was way over there. Um, yeah, so not great, but still not bad. Um, uh, yellow plates on the back, double yellow lines on the sides. This is definitely ha this definitely has to be the UK. Um, 
not entirely certain where it's going to be. Uh, it ends up being Dundee. Um, but, yeah. Um, so this looks like maybe it could be Portugal or um, it's white on the, uh, it's kind of airy. It's got white sidelines. Um, I'd like to be able to zoom in and see what that says. Um, I mean, this could be Portugal or Spain. Um, I'd say somewhere down this area. Um, Spain might be a better hedge. Um, since Portugal is so small, I mean, I can't really see where else, oh, okay, um, it was actually India, I forgot they even had India on this map, and that did not, Right, so maybe I could have figured it. Not really. I mean, that's not even. Maybe these lights would have helped. I don't know. Um. Ah, uh, yeah. So it is driving left. I kind of had that thought when I saw this, possibly, but like nothing else really made sense. I don't know they had a little octagonal. Oh, yeah, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I don't know how I would have, like, I don't know that there's a way to figure that out unless you just know it. Um, if you could see this, because uh, we started out one down. Oops. Let me start right here. Right. I'm going to start like right here or something like that. Maybe there. I think this is where we started. Um, red on the side. I'm not certain if that's something that's in India or not. Apparently it is, but I, don't, I wouldn't have known that. Um, hmm. Um, it has to be Canada because it's got a single, like, solid yellow. The Pentecostal, like, I would think that would be U.S. Um, but there's no dashed lines here, and it's not too solid, so it can't be U.S. That could be a flag as well. Um, this should be, again, maybe in this area over here. Um, this is the area it looks like. They, they love these little, like, you know, look like double wides or whatever. Um, but yeah, with, with a, without any additional stuff, yeah, so that actually ended up being the founding. Um, but without any, uh, the U.S. will never have just a solid, like a single solid yellow line in the middle. It will always be either two solids or a solid and a dashed or a single dashed line. You're never going to have... Um, they were going to have that, and then, yeah, this did end up being a flag. I thought it might have been a flag. Wow, this, this score here is much worse. Um... So this actually should be Brazil. Yeah, this should be Brazil. It's Brazilian pole, although it's kind of blurred. Okay, all right, it makes more sense. Okay, yeah, all right. Uh, palm trees. 
Um, so it's probably coastal. Um, could be anywhere up here. Um, I'm going to go up. I don't know if it's big enough for that. I'm going to keep it in Sierra, I think. Yeah, I'm going to keep it in Sierra. Um, my pants are so bad there. Yeah, this pole like threw me off, but I think it's just uh, blurred. Um, like, because it definitely has the markings of a pole on this. Yeah, okay, so it was actually very coastal, very coastal. Um, it was actually between the Sea Fay and Natal, okay. Uh, but still not bad, not bad. Um, now, this here, yes, yeah, that one there definitely threw me. Um, Wow. Um, 14, 2, 7. Whoa, okay. Um, huh. Yep. Yeah, this is already a 36 minute video. Um, let's go ahead and get started here. I have no idea where this is. Um, this could be Baltics, maybe. Um, could be Baltics or even Denmark. Um, I think it's northern Northern uh, Europe there. Um, this kind of makes me question. Um, I can't really see. It's not the Netherlands because it doesn't have yellow plates. Denmark could be um, yellow flowers. It's not Sweden. Um, I'm going to go Denmark, I guess. I'm going to go... Oh. Well, I almost threw that one away. Um, I literally was trying to click over here pretty much exactly where this person like clicked um, because I figured that there'd be more chance of it being over here. Um, but that was actually... Uh, oh, Lord, that was actually freaking hilarious. Like, literally almost threw away... 1700 points. Um, um, so this should be Finland here. Uh, this is a Finnish pole. Um, I don't think, or uh, Finnish baller, I should say. Um, Sweden wouldn't have this, it would have a solid, uh, solid white back. Also, they'd have a white uh, thing. It could be Norway, but I don't think it really matches Norway. Um, and I don't know what Norway's bollards are. Uh, this should be Finland, though. Um, and another amazing guess. Uh, wow. Okay. Um, all right, so dashed lines make me think Nordics, um, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, uh, but they are also found in Tunisia, and I believe the only other place I've seen dashed lines like this would be France. And France would be the only thing that makes, like, I mean, I don't think I've seen anything in Tunisia that looks like this, and I know it's not Nordic. I'm going to read that, see what language it is. I don't know of any other place that would have dashed lines on the sides like that, though. Okay. 
it does end up being France. It's southern France. So, All right. Um, so this could be like Colombia or something like that. Just trying to think. That almost almost looks like the little bollards in uh, Yucatan, but I'm not sure. Let me go up here. I think it's like the bollards that are on. Yeah, so it was. I thought it was like maybe this, uh, is it this road here that it was on? Yeah, I don't know if the rest of Mexico has these, but uh, there are several roads in Yucatan that have this bollard. Um, and I'm, I'm really glad I switched back over from that. So, uh, I mean, Colombia wouldn't have been a terrible. I you know, probably would have gotten like a thousand points, maybe. Um, Thought it could have been Brazil as well, but obviously it wasn't. Um, so this is either uh, could be Thailand, but they're not Thai poles. So this should be Malaysia or Indonesia. Um, kind of hedge down this direction, maybe. Um, I can't, uh, can't really tell which. I'd love for there to be some way to differentiate easily. Um, but it's definitely Southeast Asia. I mean, white car driving left. And it could be a black car as well if it was you know, one of these two. But um, it's driving left because it, it's not going to be South Africa. Or Australia, like this with that car, or South Africa. All right, so it does end up being Sabah, Sabe, um, but definitely uh, could have been a little bit better, um, but not bad. 3200, yeah. Um, yeah, almost 22k for an MPZ. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, diverse world is just like, um, I mean, there's a reason why there's a, a thousand and one uh, streak. I mean, you know, it's, it's just been played so much. I don't know specifically if there's any, uh, I can't specifically think, think of any um, repeats, although the Yucatan one could have been a repeat, I don't know. Um, honestly, I mean, they all could have been repeats. I, I forget, but, uh, yeah, um, I'd like to see what happens when the actual, see, here's, here's my thought is, um, maybe it's like, to me, the, uh, the challenge link should be, uh, like especially in like a, a situation like this here it should just be sent to the people um, specifically rather than I mean I don't know maybe like, I just like I don't know who these people are so 
Um, like I'd like to just like, cause I think I'm the, the first person to finish of the people who are actually in the, the game. Um, who is this one here? So Chicago, myself, Costa Rica. Is there somebody between Addie and Roland? Raid Man. Right, so Raid Man Mucha is missing from here. Let's see who that is. Okay. Um, anyway, um, I mean, let me go ahead and add these up real quick. Uh, I said I, I'm the first person on this list, I'm pretty sure, to finish. So I don't know. How, like, I can't imagine that anybody did super worse because, or at least not any of the, man, 23, 276 was freaking amazing. I think that was my best NMPZ, actually. Now, that 14217, <laughs> let's not talk about that one. Yeah, so I almost broke, uh, Oh, so I didn't even average 20k actually. I thought I did, but uh, so 99,000 9, or 99,633 is the total. Um, so yeah, not bad. I, again, like I said, I wish I could see who else, like, I wish some of these other people had gone so I could kind of like compare but um yeah I just I don't know who these people are here so um, anyway let's uh let's go ahead and end the video here and I'll go ahead and try and get this uploaded about 47 minutes um and you guys have a great one